Hey, what's up, guys? This is Woody Geek. Welcome to Punch Out's World Circuit. This circuit is the big league. You're going to be faced with insane challenges in each bout. To start with, we have the very erratic and hyperactive Irishman, Aaron Ryan. You don't look Irish! Aaron moves around the ring constantly, but since he stops moving before he attacks, you know exactly where he'll be at any given attack moment. Everything he does in this fight can be counted into a combo, save for a star opportunity. Dodging his attacks will not do too much, since he cannot be comboed after doing so. Also note how everything in this fight has to do with the lucky number 7. Aaron will always be locked on a combo for 7 punches. Your heart gauge has 7 points. Aaron will always get on his feet after the 7 count and landing seven star punches will result in an instant knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, come on, fight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Come on, come on, fight. There are many ways to eat a chocolate, but there's only one way to eat a chocolate bar. <laughs> Originally called Vodka Drunkinski, Soda is a very quick and powerful boxer that will test the player's agility in the virtual ring. <laughs> Soto allows for very short reaction time before striking, so make sure you're quick on the trigger in this fight. He'll throw two left hooks before attempting two right uppercuts. His special attack, which is a flurry of four uppercuts, occurs after he's hit with a star punch, after he's knocked down, or after you knock his bottle out of his hand. Every initial attack Soda makes will be followed up with another punch of the same type, then he'll move on to a different punch. Since he attempts a special attack too often in this fight, he leaves very little to waiting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, fight. Huh? 
Boy, kid, you rock that guy. But are you ready for the next challenge? Tough and powerful, Bald Bull requires a bit of patience to be dealt with effectively. Although, he seems like an impatient kind of guy. Like Soda, Bald Bull is a very fast attacker, but if you take time to memorize his pattern, you should have no trouble. He starts the fight by throwing three jabs to whichever side he's rolling his fists to, then he moves on to three hooks covering Max's right side. After each triad of punches, he throws a sudden uppercut, so be on your toes for when this moment comes around. When he's on his feet again, Bald Bull will throw a hook and an uppercut, followed by his special move, the Bull Charge. He'll exhale two spouts of steam before charging in for a one-hit knockdown uppercut, but if you manage to lend a left jab to his midsection as he's charging, you'll knock him down instead. Alternatively, you can dodge left or right to avoid it. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Fight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Untouch, baby, untouch. Did that sucker even land a punch? The next fight might not be so easy. For being a macho man, super macho man isn't as macho as he is unmacho. Regardless, he's no Randy Savage. For the sake of not sounding repetitive, let's just refer to this boxer simply as Man. Man uses uppercuts almost exclusively, save for his super macho clothesline attack, so dodging left or right are your best bets. He also has a gimmick similar to that of Don Flamenco, in that he can be locked in a follow-up punch combo. Unlike Don, Man can't get permanently locked in it. If you pull this off after he's thrown a right uppercut, you can earn a star on the last punch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, come on. Right. 
After being knocked down once, Man will throw a clothesline and continue with uppercuts, at least until he chooses to use his special attack, which is a succession of three clotheslines similar in speed to Don Throw's Fury. If you can avoid all three clotheslines here, Man will be unable to recover from retaliation punches until you botch an input command. Macho Man! Macho! Macho! That guy. But are you ready for the next challenge? Meet the champion of the World Video Boxing Association, Mr. Sandman. If you're not prepared to fight him, he'll knock you on the mat in no time. Sandman will throw two fast overhead left hooks, then a delayed overhead right. If you don't see this coming, your health bar will drop quickly. He then throws another left hook followed by a right hook, pausing for a moment to throw a fast right straight. From there, he'll throw another left hook and delayed right before repeating the pattern. Stand still. Uh -huh. When he gets up, Sandman will try using the Dreamland Express, which is a three uppercut combo that can easily be avoided if you dodge with a rhythm. He'll take ten punches before he's no longer stunned. After the express, he'll throw two consecutive delayed left straights, followed by his delayed right overhead. Following that, he'll attempt the Dreamland Express again, after which he'll follow up with another delayed straight. After yet another express, he'll throw a fast straight and a delayed straight. I know nothing about anything he does after that. This title is mine, Mac. You ain't never gonna take it. Be on your toes, Mac, baby. Sandman's fast and strong. He ain't the champ for nothing. From what I could tell in previous attempts, the first section of this second round is the same as the first rounds. One, two, three, 
Sandman will go for another delayed straight followed by a pause. This pause threw me off initially as I didn't see the two fast overheads coming. From there he'll attempt a delayed overhead and a fast straight followed by a delayed straight. Rather than going for a fast punch next, he throws a delayed straight. If he knocks you on the mat at this point, he'll try it again and will repeat the pattern. One, two, three, four. You want some more? One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. The second time Sandman rises in round two starts with two Dreamland Expresses. This is a good time to get some damage in on the champ before he floors you. After taking the snooze train and its return trip, he'll throw a fast straight and will follow up with two delayed straights. If you countered his attacks up to this point, he would already be on the mat, but since I didn't, <laughs> I landed on the mat instead. He'll attempt a third express after that, but if you countered all three of them in this part of the fight, his health will be reduced to zero and you win. Five. TKO! Mac, you did it. You're the best of the best. The World Circuit Champion. Hey, great work, Mac. Now let's take down the next challenger. Left, right, left, right. That's it, baby. Push it out, Mac. Come on, push it out. Faster, faster. Come on, you can do it. Quick feet, Mac. Quick feet. Keep it up, Mac. Keep it up. Come back next time for title defense round one. This is Wadigeek, and I'll see you guys then.